Hello, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. As summertime comes to a close, we have to start thinking about getting our kids to and from school safely. Regardless if your kid rides the bus, walks, or bicycles, the most important thing for us is to make sure they arrive safely and return home safely. As summer days grow shorter, communities across America will soon be observing that timeless annual ritual, the first day of school. It's a time when parents breathe a sigh of relief and students and teachers anticipate new beginnings and new challenges. Unfortunately, the beginning of school also signals a time when children are at increased risk of transportation-related injuries from pedestrian, bicycle, school bus, and motor vehicle crashes due to the increased amount of children on the roadway. Shorter daylight hours make it especially difficult to see young pedestrians and bicyclists. So as schools open their doors, it's time for everyone, motorists, parents, educators, and students to improve their traffic safety practices. The following tips can help make this a safe and happy school year for the entire community. Always stop for a school bus that has stopped to load or unload passengers. Red flashing lights and an extended stop arm tell you that the school bus has stopped to load or unload children. If you are on a two-lane roadway, you must stop. If you are on a roadway that has two or more travel lanes traveling in each direction and you are traveling the same direction as the bus, you must also stop. If you are on a roadway that has at least two or more travel lanes traveling in each direction and you are approaching meeting the bus, you do not have to stop, merely proceed with caution. Be alert and ready to stop. Watch for children walking in the street, especially where there are no sidewalks. Watch for children playing and gathering near bus stops. Watch for children arriving late for the bus who may dart into the street without looking for traffic. When backing out of a driveway or leaving a garage, watch for children walking or biking to school. When driving in neighborhoods or school zones, watch for young people who may be in a hurry to get to school and may not be thinking about getting there safely. Parents, help your children learn and practice the safety rules for walking, bicycling, or riding in a passenger car, school bus, or transit bus. Supervise young children as they are walking or biking to school or as they wait at the school bus stop. Be a good role model, especially when you are with your kids. Always buckle up in the car, always wear a helmet when biking, and always follow pedestrian safety rules. For our students, always remember to buckle up when riding in a car, and riding in the back seat is the safest place for our children. Always wear a helmet and follow traffic safety rules when riding your bike. If you ride a school bus, learn and practice the safety rules for waiting at the bus stop, getting on and off the bus, and riding the bus safely. If you walk to school, learn and practice the safety rules for pedestrians. Always cross at crosswalks, obey all traffic signs, traffic lights, and safety patrol instructions. And even our students can be good role models for younger brothers and sisters and friends and help them learn and practice the safety rules. On behalf of the proud men and women of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office, thank you for watching this video and for sharing it with your family. As I always say, our goal is to keep you safe.